Good morning, good morning. This is Wednesday. Um, happy, happy Wednesday. I'm just uh, checking in. I got to do my workout. Welcome to Carib Afri Workout. This is Ray Russell. I work out on my patio every day. Uh, my whole goal and our motive for this year is health and fitness. We're promoting health and fitness. Um, got to take care of your body. Got to take care of your body. The best way to get rid of stress, the best way to get rid of, 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 of just stuff that's bothering you is to work out let's work out the stress and so this is a very emotional time for me and my family we lost our uh dear loved one my nephew um and so we're just processing this whole thing a lot of us are in shock still you know but um just want to work out want to work out um make sure you have your water um what i'm drinking right now is my lemon water um with a little bit of cayenne pepper and i didn't get my maple syrup just a little maple syrup what i need i was gonna get the one that i have opened but this maple syrup right here this is grade b this is the real deal maple syrup grade b i have lemons on my tree huge lemons if you guys need some lemons you come get some huge organic lemons you see how big this is uh, my tree makes two different sizes. Two different sizes come from one tree. I guess they grafted the tree. One side is huge like grapefruits and the other side is re regular lemons. Full of, just full of juice. Full of juice. So, lemon is, ooh, lemon is very good for you. It's, um, it's alkaline. So when you drink the water, it's actually acidic, but when you uh, drink it and process it, it turns alkaline in your body. But lemon is really good. It has a lot of nutrients. The cayenne pepper breaks up mucus in your body. Um, and one way to stay healthy, you know, is to hydrate and eat a lot of alkaline foods. Drink a lot of alkaline water. This is what I have in here is alkaline water. Um, Got to stay healthy. Got to stay healthy. Mmm. A little spicy <clears throat> but we're gonna go ahead and get started um, I'm gonna start with my rebounder right here do some warm-ups and then we're gonna go into this is my praise and worship y'all praise and worship so let me go ahead and get started I'm a little bit behind time but better late than never right <laughs> yes better late than never okay let's get some volume going here Yeah. 
of mine. Great warm up, great warm up. Gotta drink plenty of fluids. Get hydrated. Mm. Okay. All right. Let's do some jumping jacks. Get the blood pumping.
Take the wheel, take the wheel, Lord. God, God is the balanced wheel. In all tough life situations, you can't do this on your own. Absolutely no way we can do this on our own. If God is not there to take the wheel, we don't make it. We lose our mind. We lose our focus. Thank God. Thank God. Praying for strength for the family right now. Because this is a hard blow. This is a hard blow. But we got to be there for each other. Got to make sure God is in the center of all of this. It's tough. It's tough. Really tough. The pain is real. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Let's see. All right, we'll do a fixer. God is, God is a fixer, 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 fixer. What na 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 na? What up, man? No, no. 
anything and I have to believe that in my heart believe it God will fix it you know we don't know some of us don't know how to process death I mean prior to my grandmother passing my uncle passing my aunt passing you know prior to that I didn't know I didn't experience the real pain of death you know I didn't have no real close friends and family members passing away so it was hard for me to really comprehend but let me tell you when the death angel come knocking at your door and you feel that pain I'm telling you a lot of people sink into depression a lot of people feel like not going on you know and I'm talking about I'm being real here you know so so to know that you know only person that can take life and give life is God to be absent in the body is to be in present with the Lord. And we gotta hold on to these promises. You know, just hold on so we don't lose our mind trying to ask, ask the question, why, why, why? You know? And so, just help us process, Father God. Help us process. You know, and uh, forever how long it takes us to process, Lord. Just help us get through this tough times right now truly tough times right now so
is with my family right now. Never leave us nor forsake us. Woo! Times like this, you pull onto scriptures. He'll never bring us, give us too much that we cannot bear. Oh, we got to pull on the scriptures that we know in our heart to get us through this, to get us through this, to get us through this. All right. This is uh, two more songs and we're done. This is Double Double. My God is good, yo. Double Double. Yeah.
help us, Lord, in good times and bad times. It's not or, it's good times and bad times. As long as you live, we're gonna go through it. We all gotta transition out of here, some sooner than others. And I have to always keep in mind that my nephew and those that have gone before, and they are in the arms of the Lord, because my nephew knew the Lord. He knew the Lord, he grew up in church. So we know that seed is in him. And thank you God, you know, for welcome him, welcome him in your arms, Father God. My heart breaks for those that do not know him, those that do not have a relationship. That's who we should be crying for because there's still a soul that needs to be found. There's a lost soul that needs to be found. Where do you find your strength, Ray? Where do you find comfort, Ray? Where do you, how do you go on? Let me tell you, if I didn't have the Lord in my life, I'll be turned into the alcohol, I'll be turned into the drugs, I'll be turned into something to numb this pain. You feel me? But because my strength is in God, huh, nothing can rock that. Nothing, nothing. I'm gonna hurt, I'm gonna cry. I'm going to miss my nephew. But I'm resting on knowing that he is, he is in a better place. He is. And one day we will all be united. You know, that's the hope. That's the promise. That's the promise. Oh, Jesus. So we're going to do our last. Mm. You're not going to believe what this song is. Wow. It's the, the name of the song is Rapture. Wow. Josiah. All and Blessed Messenger. This is, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Rapture. Rapture. Wow. I'm just going to meditate on this song. Meditate on the words. I see my
is coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. The rapture is coming. Don't get left behind. Don't get left behind. Confirmation, I don't know what is. Confirmation that he he made it home. <laughs> wow. Jesus. Oh wow. Oh Jesus. Woo. 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 Oh. This is tears of joy, you guys tears of joy right now knowing that he made it home oh, oh Jesus oh. Oh. I needed this I needed this I needed this this morning I needed this you know my nephew my nephew was like a son to me you know he lived here with me in san diego he actually finished up high school 9th 10th 10th 11th and 12th grade here graduated from mom miguel high school right down the street from my house she graduated with full ride scholarship to uc riverside and let me tell you the enemy was after him from a boy because he know that my nephew was called. You know when you're called? You're like a Jonah. You're called. God called you. He called him in, the, in his mama's womb. Last baby. Last baby. God called him for greatness. And let me tell you. He got a full ride scholarship. And on a technicality that could be just overlooked. They pull his scholarship, y'all. Pull his scholarship. He was a straight A student. He's one of the type of students that would always do extra, you know, always stay behind and do extra, cause he know where he's he's leading for destiny, you know. He's always he's a vision he's a vision minded individual. I love having conversations with him. He was real deep, a little stubborn, you know. But when he have his head on for something, man, wow, he goes right through it. He was going to he was going to UC Riverside to study law, to be an attorney. And through a technicality, he lost that full ride scholarship. But the story didn't end there. He joined the military, and just did what he got to do. I mean, got his E SWAS and his C SWAS, all his medals and designation, went up the ranks. You know. Yes, he lived a short life. You know, I always say gone too soon, but he had the time that he had here on earth, he impacted a whole lot of people. He was known to have a soft heart. I see how he, he, um, how he treated my daughter. Andrea was a baby at the time, you know, he would, he knows, he just had that love for children. How he interacted with my son, how he interacted with my grandmother. My grandmother, hey, guess right, let's right, you know. Oh, gone too soon. But the time that he spent here, I can recall, you know, stories after stories after stories, you know, of his life. He impacted a lot of people, you know. I, I, I didn't grow up in the church, but once I got into the church, I said, my kids are going to grow up in the church, you know? I'm going to drag you to church, you know? So it's the same thing with him. I said, we're going to go to church. He's like, huh? I was like, yeah, you know, you grew up in church. You don't mean to say you're not at home. You, you still go in church. You can get dressed, let's go to church. And uh, at the time, I was serving at New Life Baptist Church. And... You know, everybody knew him. He was involved in the youth ministry. I mean, he had an opportunity to go to Washington. You know, you got to come up with all this money to go 